Hamas deputy leader Salah al arori was killed in a drone strike in the Lebanese capital of Beirut on Tuesday, an attack Israel has neither confirmed nor denied. He's the first senior Hamas political leader to be assassinated since Israel began its offensive in Gaza, targeting the militant group in response to its deadly rampage into Israeli towns on October 7th. But who is Arori, and will this shift the war going forward? Born near Ramallah in the West Bank, Arori was an early recruit of the Hamas movement when it formed in 1987. The 57-year-old has long been in exile outside of Gaza after long stints in Israeli prisons. But Arori remained a key player in the West Bank movement from Syria, Turkey, Qatar and finally Lebanon. Arori has been the deputy leader of Hamas since 2017. Within the group, he was described as a leading advocate of reconciliation between rival Palestinian factions. But when it came to the conflict with Israel, Arori was seen as a hardliner. He helped found the group's military wing and is accused of orchestrating deadly attacks on Israeli citizens over the years. With many of Gaza's Hamas leaders in deep hiding, it's claimed Arori has negotiated hostage releases in the current conflict. The assassination is another sign the conflict is spreading further beyond Israel and Gaza, as Hezbollah, a Hamas ally, exchanges near daily fire with Israel across Lebanon's southern border. Hezbollah chief Saeed Hassan Nasrallah has warned Israel against carrying out assassinations on Lebanese soil, vowing a severe reaction. <laughs> Meanwhile, Palestinians have marched in the streets of Ramallah, calling for revenge for Aruri's killing. The UN peacekeeping mission in Lebanon said it was deeply concerned about the possibility of an escalation that could have devastating consequences for people on both sides of the border. We are. War between Israel and Hamas has left much of the Gaza Strip in ruins, killing more than 21,000 people and displacing 1.9 million people. That's according to relief agencies and Gaza health officials. Shelves are empty, wallets are empty, stomachs are empty. Just when bakery is operating in the whole of Gaza. There's no resolution in sight, and Israel's army chief predicts the war will last for months. Analysts say the fighting may consign the Palestinian territory to yet more devastation and an open-ended Israeli occupation. Let's take a closer look. Even if the war does end early in 2024, Israel will likely maintain a military occupation of Gaza. No Palestinian authority acceptable to Israel, including the West Bank-based Palestinian Authority, appears able to take over soon. Nor will Hamas readily cede control. Most Arab states are unwilling to get involved. That leaves Israeli occupation an ongoing siege and no real reconstruction. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has yet to articulate a plan for post-war Gaza. Most politicians and analysts say the Israeli vision is to emulate the occupied West Bank model. That means having some designated authority running civic affairs while Israel maintains security control. 
Netanyahu has said Israel will keep some form of security control of all Gaza indefinitely, but he insists this would not amount to reoccupying the Strip. Netanyahu seeks to obliterate Hamas for its attack on October 7th, in which Israel says Hamas killed 1,200 people. Gaza's Hamas leader, Yahya Sinwar, hopes to trade remaining hostages for thousands of Palestinian prisoners, ends the Israeli-Egyptian blockade of Gaza and puts Palestinian statehood back in play. Neither of these aims look attainable in 2024. Analysts say that eradicating Hamas will likely result in thousands more civilian deaths, the devastation of Gaza and further displacement of hundreds of thousands of Gazans. And even if Israel succeeds in eliminating Hamas commanders, it will not be enough for Israel to claim it has destroyed the group and end the war. Most analysts also agree it will be nearly impossible to eradicate the Hamas ideology, with recent polls showing a rise in its popularity. There is no sign the war will usher in a revival of peace talks and bring about a two-state solution as the United States hopes. Thank <laughs> you.